The vast, mysterious land of India is home to countless tales of legends, myths and dark histories. One such story, the thugs. Hidden under the veil of folklore and the dusty annals of history, India's thugs were a network of murderers and robbers who haunted the roads, striking fear in the heart of every traveller. But who were these thugs, and what drove them to their bloody deeds? For hundreds of years, stretching from the 14th to the 19th century, these secret fraternities of criminals roamed freely. They weren't just ordinary bandits, they were organized, strategic, and deadly efficient. Using a complex system of signals and a coded language known as Ramasi, the thugs operated with utmost secrecy. Their primary weapon, the rumal, a scarf used to silently strangle unsuspecting victims, leaving no blood and no mess. But it was more than just theft and murder for the thugs. They believed their actions were a divine duty, sacrifices to the goddess Kali, the Hindu deity of destruction and chaos. But the more victims they claimed, the greater their infamy grew. And it wasn't long before they caught the attention of the British Empire. By the 19th century, as the British tightened their grip on India, they waged a relentless campaign against the thugs. They were seen not just as criminals, but a threat to imperial control. Under the leadership of British officer William Sleeman, a massive crackdown began. Thousands were arrested, tried and executed, while others were imprisoned or exiled. But like all tales shrouded in mystery, not everything is black and white. Some argue the British exaggerated the thug threat, using it as propaganda to justify their rule, casting themselves as the saviors of India. Whatever the full truth, the legend of the thugs remains one of the darkest and most captivating tales in India's history. In the end, between the lines of history and myth, between colonial narratives and local tales, lies a story of a shadowy cult that once ruled the roads of ancient India with fear as their closest ally.